segment of the BTS vlog. I'm making a, more of an effort to vlog throughout the day, and as I said before, uh, bringing it to some of my work. Uh, what's going on right now is I'm um, at the research desk. I've done some work here. Um, let me give you a, t a time and date stamp. It is uh, 17 hours and uh, 15 minutes into the day of Tuesday, March 8th, uh, 2016. And the reason why I have no problem remembering that is because I have the date posted in front of me on my computer screen. Um, I've been doing some work. Uh, I decided I've been doing some work basically since about, uh, since I got up. Oh, I can't remember when that was. It's been a couple hours now. Once, once you start doing work, uh, the research work, you start losing track of time. I decided that, uh, as I was sort of sitting here thinking about things and watching some TV, my IPTV, um, I decided to to enter in a name of somebody I wanted to do some research on and see what Google came up with. And surprisingly enough, and this is what happens, it's not that you're necessarily looking for one particular thing, is you, it provides you with a list and you start going through the list. And as you go through your sources and start taking your notes, there are interesting tangents that pop out that sort of can take you off in a variety of different places or a variety of different directions. And, well, sometimes it's a fun direction. Other times it leads you to things that are more serious. You know, it's, it's, it's a more uh, a serious tangent that will actually provide help later on. And one of the tangents I'm working on now, actually, uh, let me into, um, um, uh, areas that will be revealed later on, uh, because a lot of the work that I do here, in addition for the for INN, because when you start, start to code what's going on in society, you often bump into intelligence analysis. So a lot of the work I'm doing at this particular point in time, and this is why I'm not going to show you my screens, uh, has to do with intelligence analysis. And it's much like, again, it's, this is it's the same methodology of doing physics. You're looking at a variety of sources. It's not the source itself that provides any one degree of significant, any degree of significance. It's all the sources together and the notes you take and how they interconnect. This is what provides you with the significance of what you're looking at. And it often connects back to things that you didn't really expect it to connect back to. In other words, you're finding new aspects to particular issues, like, say, uh, the banking problems on Wall Street. We want to, we want to understand uh, the collapse of Wall Street in 2008. What happened there? What, uh, was this something that was unusual? Was it an anomaly? Um, looking at the corruption on Wall Street... Is this something unusual? Is it restricted to Wall Street? Or does it have spiders that does, does it have fingers, a web that goes far beyond Wall Street? And this is the type of thing you find here. And this is, this is in, in, I'm watching a report now, uh, the documentary. And you have to be careful a lot of times when you do these, when we watch these documentaries here. Because all documentaries, no matter who they are, who presents it, presents it have a particular view on how things need to be done and should be done. And so it's not specifically their points of view you're looking at, but it's how they approach the point of view, how they develop the point of view. That's what you're looking for. 
because that's how you're going to find connections from one aspect of what's going on in society to another aspect. And so what happens, th this is sort of it. It's bit by bit connecting pieces of a tiny puzzle. But the thing is, this, this puzzle is not something that you have all the pieces to. The puzzles are literally scattered all over the world, all over the internet, and you have to go find these pieces. So you're not given the pieces of the puzzle. You have to find the pieces of the puzzle. If you don't find these pieces, uh, then your picture is not going to come up that good. And so in other words, the more pieces you find, the better your picture will be. And this is sort of the situation. This is what sort of makes the whole concept or the whole thing of research uh, exhausting, is because you go from one area, let's say you're doing uh, black operations. Uh, well, black operations can take two directions. You can go into the political direction and the psychological implications of those directions. You can go into uh, the CIA uh, experimentation in, in, in with uh, with psychology, and it's uh, used within the CIA or, or the, 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 that's a science tangent. Well, same thing with psychiatry, neurochemistry, uh, biological weapons or bio in biology, uh, also nuclear weapons that gets into physics. Eavesdropping or uh, surveillance, electronics, that's also fit the salt state physics. So you have a number of tangents that, uh, when you're going into these things that you could end up with. And the more you have, the, the broader spectrum of an idea you have, like as a physicist, I understand the law of the technology, so that when I'm looking at this and I see something that has a technical, technological uh, placement or it has also a psychological implication, I can see both aspects. Where if I didn't have my physics, which is, and, and understand physics as the pinnacle of all sciences, and be able to spy it out from, uh, from physics to the other sciences, then I would say, I mean, I, I'd understand the technical aspect if I just had the physics and was only, only uh, was sort of singly focused on physics, then I wouldn't see the psychological aspects of things. But because I have the position that I have of, of done the research I've done, and sort of opened my mind up about things and opened my like my options and closed off my focus. I now understand the psychological implications because uh, a large chunk of the psychological research that I've done, the behavior research that I've done, uh, goes together with uh, the uh, cybernetic the, the research I've been doing into cybernetics. Cybernetics is uh, creating the uh, an android like uh, like Data on Star Trek. Uh, and it's basically a humanoid type of robot, and this involves artificial intelligence, artificial life, and in these cases here, when you're using your models, you have to use psychology as, well as your as your model for artificial artificial intelligence, and you have to use medical science as your as your uh, uh, real, uh, physical model for the the body of the robot of the android. So, uh, but the thing is, and this is how all these different things connect together. And this is, it. This is where, where, where I've, I've gone now. Is I've, <laughs> I'm on. This is going to take me a week to, to get through this stuff here that I have here. I've now, my, my information that I have, the sort of the sources that I have to go through, is going to take me about a week to finish. And I'm, I'm going to uh, be pretty exhausted by the end of the week. The end of the week is going to be, uh, going to be really difficult for me because it's so much work that I have got to get done. That I don't know whether I'll be able to get everything done on time or how I'll be able to arrange my, my days and or the schedule. But uh, the goal will be to try and go from there. I was also trying here to find the uh, video where uh, Annie on An An Bertelli uh, asks uh, her dad what about time and who first thought of time. But I can't find it. But So what I'll do is in the next segment, uh, maybe later on tonight... Uh, I'll sit down and produce an, uh, uh, an explanation on time uh, and the history of time and uh, I'll, p I'll post that uh, one segment immediately but it will also be in uh, the upcoming um, uh, uh, Big Bang Theory RL BTS vlog. Alright, so I'm going to leave that here for now. <laughs> I have to get back to my work, and I will see you in eh, I don't know, a couple hours. Let's see. 
All right, take it easy. It is the end of a rather long day, sort of. Considering that I didn't go to bed till six o'clock this morning, well, you understand where the issue comes in. Let me give you the time and date stamp. It is one hour and 33 minutes into the day of Wednesday, March 8th, 2016. That's right, it's Wednesday. Uh, so technically, it's not the same day as Tuesday. So I could say yesterday I got up at 6 o'clock in the morning. The problem is that yes, it was yesterday I got up. At, I, I didn't. Well, I didn't get up at this. That's when I went to bed. I went to bed at six, six o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. And this is the time lag coming in because of the situation I'm going to describe now. <clears throat> I went to bed at six o'clock in the morning. On Tuesday, I got up just a bit about six hours later, around noon. Did some vlogging, started doing some work on the research. Did a lot more work today on the research, uh, and went out to my parents' house for dinner around six. Came back, finished doing some more of the research that I was working on. It was basically typing in a phrase that I had thought of, a sort of question in my mind, typed the phrase in, and began searching it. Found a lot of good materials. This was done before I went to my parents' house for dinner. I described it in one of the segments of uh, Big Bang Theory RL, uh, BTS Love, well, the last segment. So I have been vlogging throughout the day. Uh, one, one, last, one time. Again, it's not the, the, the day. The day of daylight was was uh, Tuesday. It's now Wednesday, 1 o'clock in the morning. So we have officially crossed over to another day. So uh, this is where the confusion comes in. It's, it's been one day for me, but technically it's been two days. Because it's gone over that uh, the the midnight uh, we we ended up working, I ended up working uh, from uh, let's see let's say noon till about now. Well, noon to noon to midnight. That's when things change over. It's twelve hours, so this is thirteen and a half hours. Uh, I have to go into bed. At 6 a.m. It's now 1.30 a.m. And I'm going to bed. I'll probably be up again. In 6-7 six, six, hours. Start the next list. Next. Chunk of work. That I have on schedule. And this is what happens. Is that the mind. As it starts to get tired. As the fatigue, fatigue starts to set in starts losing track of the sense of time that should be there because when there's no fixed time as to when I'm going to bed and when I'm, or, or when I'm waking up and that's it I went to bed yesterday at six, yesterday at six o'clock in the morning I am now going to bed at one o'clock at 1 30 in the morning so this inconsistency and you can sort of see this with the other with the the vlogs that will start coming out more on, on a more frequent basis. Uh, you can start you can see this in the vlogs as I talk about as I talk about what I'm doing on a day to day basis. It, when I give these vlogs, particularly when I'm getting up or when I'm going to bed, if I remember to vlog one before I go to bed, you can see the in inconsistencies in the work that I'm doing. You can see in terms of when I'm going to bed, when 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 I'm Away. And this causes the fatigue. This causes uh, a loss of 
is 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 the loss of sense of time, the the remembrance of what day it actually is falls away because the rhythm that you normally are supposed to have that that has you going to bed the one night and waking up in in, in the in the, the the succeeding morning or the following morning uh doesn't exist anymore. So our sense of time is typically geared towards I'm going to bed Tuesday night and I'm waking up uh, Wednesday morning. That's our that's the standard uh, sleep pattern. This is the way we have our sense of time. My sense of time has been completely thrown off. So that is it. Went uh, Tuesday. I went to bed at six. I went. I went to bed at six o'clock in the morning. Got up at noon. Right. I'm now going to bed at one thirty in the morning. When I get up, will probably be between uh, six and eight o'clock in the morning. So the consistency just isn't there, and it forces it. it, it not only forces, but it it causes the sense of time to be thrown off. And this is where I've said this. I've said this in many of the uh, the the uh, videos. So this is and you can sort of see this. I'm struggling to think of what to say and how to phrase things. In in it, now that I'm exhausted like this. But as I said I found good. I found good stuff. It was very good stuff. Uh, what you'll be getting from INN if you watch INN, and I current and I'm not gonna give away a lot of details here, so I, you can go watch INN. Watch uh, Tweetline Plus is gonna be coming out tomorrow. Uh, I've got enough work to, to begin the presentations, and yeah, I've got enough research work done to get to start the presentations. So I'll be working on editing the first uh, 10 to 15 minute uh, episode uh, tomorrow after I get back from food shopping uh, and uh, hopefully posting it tomorrow night. And I should, uh, it looks like the schedule for uh, the uh, Big Bang Theory BTS vlogs, BTS vlog is going to be uh, every other day basically. So uh, basically, Monday, Wednesday, uh, Friday, and maybe one over the weekend. We'll see. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I will see you in the next day. Probably when I wake up, uh, or if or if I wake up early and I end up doing some work in the middle of the night, well, my night anyways. Uh, then uh, I'll I'll vlog then as well. So uh, that's it for now. And happy trails. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.